Alright, so checking out the only kind of memes in the furry fandom where a creature's cuddliness is directly proportionate to how much it can crush you while it's giving you a hug, it's bear memes. More lethal cuddling, damn it! Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to get used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. Yes, we are bringing back the random singing. I realize now that the charm that my vi previous videos had had was missing in later videos, so more singing is now involved. Now with extra reverb. Let's go get some memes in this B. See what I did there? Because we're, we're doing bear memes. It starts with a B. Yeah, you get it. So y'all remember that polar bear that was in the Coca-Cola commercials way back in the day? You ever wonder what happened to that guy? Well, here he is now. Right after his Coca-Cola shtick, he had had a hard time finding new work. Eventually, he fell onto some hard times, he turned to alcoholism, and now he is spending five years in jail for public intoxication. How the mighty have fallen. Summer, no floof. Winter, with floof. Even more floof. So much floof that it eats you up and assimilates you within the bear who is keeping the floof. Now I don't want to alarm anyone, but I feel like I just unlocked a brand new way, a brand new fun way to die. Suffocation via bear floof. At least you'd be comfy. Sun bear in my head. Nah. Sun bear IRL. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's some, something so magical and ethereal about this drawing here that makes me love it so much. Sun bears in real life aren't as graceful and majestic though. They can be goofy and weird sometimes, but do not be fooled. They are still bears and are in fact wild animals. Sun bears are very, very aggressive. So if you ever get to see one in the wild, the best you can do is to just admire it from afar. But before I could do anything, the bear was upon Tom. And upon him he is, Jesus Christ and all of his carpenter friends. <laughs> Who made this? This is sending some very homoerotic vibes to me, god damn. And the ever sensual tearing of the shirt from the back is so not helping. <laughs> uh, this picture has no dialogue, but I can see that this bear wants Tom. Like he really wants Tom. And Tom is just there taking it. He's going, Mmm, your mouth tastes like salmon, Mr. Bear. And moose blood. Is that moose blood? Mm, yes, I love moose blood. Oh. <laughs> uh, Tom, you kinky bastard. Oh, bear of the water, what is your wisdom? Bear noises, no. We are all cute, including you. You are loved and deserve an excellent day, my friend. Yo, woo. That means you, faithful viewer of mine. If this video reaches you, please know that you deserve nothing but greatness in life. That you is special, you is smart, and you is important. Have a nice day. Do not let any kind of grammar Nazi tell you otherwise. You is great, you is special, and you is important. <laughs> <sighs> Did you really have to wear that tank top today? Yes, he has to. Because it is considered a cardinal sin to cover up something so beautiful. Oh, look at those biceps and muscles. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty sure he can crush my head with his biceps if he tried. I would allow it. Uh, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yes, more Riz content from the Beastars because there is no such thing as too many bears. And just look at this picture. It's amazing. This picture says, screw you, you lonely bastard. You will never ever have this in a million years. And to that I say, you're right. I'm sad now.
But before we get into any more memes for today's video, let's go check out our Patreon shoutouts. We got Fox Demon, Whisper Whisper, Carapini, Keo Plays, Antithesis, Leon Pharma, Voltage, Benjamin Wilson, PO Creations, Werewolf Detective Bog, Gurgly T Gurgly, also known as Gary D, 845, Mad Scientist, The Unknown Fluff, Nate Pope, Luna Snowball Epi, and Jake GR. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support the channel and me directly. Y'all just have no idea how helpful you guys have been these past few months. I'm so, so thankful for your support. And if you guys want to support the channel and me directly, you might want to go down to the description of the video and check out the Patreon. Yeah, subscribe to it. Or if you do not like the uh, Patreon format, you might want to go down to the description again and uh, check out the coffee and make a one-time donation to the channel because it helps those help me directly too. Let's go get back. <laughs> Damn it! Let's go get back. Let's go get back to some memes before I stutter even more. Uh, guys, wait a minute. If I'm gay and you're gay and he's gay, then who's driving the car? Bella is driving. How could that be? I'm gay too. I can't drive. Ah! <laughs> I, I too am a bear who cannot drive. It's not because of my sexual orientation, but because I'm just severely incompetent. Also, speaking of incompetence, leave it to me to completely miss the joke of this comic. None of them are straight, so therefore none of them are, are able to drive straight. Go figure. <laughs> When your life is falling apart around you, but at least you still have your fursuit. I do not have a fursuit myself, and everything is burning down around me. I have no comfort or reprise. This scene, though, has temporarily ruined fursuits for me, and I'm pretty sure some of you share that sentiment. Midsummer, whether you like it or not, it has screwed with your head at some point after watching certain scenes of it. Mine was this. And I'm pretty sure the Blood Eagle scene has given you some probably very scary nightmares of Nordic legends. The Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. See, this should have been the Second Amendment's definition. None of that crap about guns. Everyone should have the right to get coddled by a pair of big, strong bear arms. It's instant comfort and therapy. Speaking as someone who does not have any other uh, political agendas. I truly believe that there will be no violence in this world if we are coddled by very big strong bear arms. Wow, I'm having so much fun role-playing as my AU version of Fredbear, a male animal character. This won't affect my life that heavily after not even a year of roleplay. Spoiler, it affected me for the better. I now desperately wish to be a gay bear in multiple ways. And that, my friends, is an even bigger mood than wanting to get crushed by a pair of thick thighs. I hope this person, whoever they are, has found a way to become a gay bear in real life. More power to you, fellow bear enthusiast. And that brings us to the end of our slash furry IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Patreon, support me on Coffee, and don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The link should be about it for you in the description below. This has been your fellow degenerate cook boss 88, and I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.